My name is Abu Ghaffar Abdurazak. I'm originally from Nigeria. I attained African Central Physics in the year 2016 in Luna. So I've never heard about a particle physics before then. And uh, I was introduced to the concept of uh, particle physics. And my background is mostly in the theoretical aspect of things. Though my training was more in condensed matter physics. So there I, I decided to change to high energy physics. And unfortunately, I couldn't get any position in high energy physics because of my background. And then I have this opportunity to do my PhD in University of Pretoria in condensed matter physics. So uh, my PhD thesis a title is the hybrid functional study of the effect of hydrogen participation on complex point defects in silicon. It's a branch of condensed matter that is called uh, defect physics. So why do we study defects? Uh, semiconductor materials are are not a perfect. You cannot fi find a perfect semiconductor material. Can you hear me? That works well, very well. Okay, good. So because semiconductor materials are perfect, it contains some defects in lattices. So some of these defects uh, affect the electrical property of those materials positively, while some affect it negatively. And then those materials, those semiconductor materials need to be processed in the industries. So in the process of fabricating these semiconductor materials, this defect interacts to form some other more complexes that have a direct influence in the electrical activity of the semiconductor material by introducing states within the band gap of the material. So depending on what we want to study, here we are studying, in my, my work, we are studying silicon. Silicon is the, is the material that is widely used in electronic industries and is one of the most abundant elements on earth. So it's cheaper to get and the most conventional material to, to process. Even though there are opinions that because silicon is having high mobility of substrates that it should be replaced by other oxide semiconductors. And our challenge now is to better understand the properties of this silicon at a fundamental level and provide other alternatives to, to the difficulties it has. Then here I come with the introduction, my aims and objectives, methodology results and discussion, conclusion and acknowledgement. So, as I said before, these semiconductor materials are usually abundant, and then they also contain defects in the lattices. And those defects influence electrical properties. And then why do we study silicon? Because it's the most fundamental material used in electronic industries. Next slide. So this is the structure of a unit cell of silicon. It is a cubic structure. So what are the aims? The aims of this is to explore the fundamental properties of silicon and then explore the effect of hydrogen passivation on these different complexes. Why do we study hydrogen? Because in all small fabrication processes, it is usually find, found in mostly interstitial sites. And then in some cases, the hydrogen is having uh, an influence in the in the electrical property, and in some cases, hydrogen is neutral. So the objectives are to identify the most common defects that are found in silicon in different techniques and uh, silicon fabrication techniques. Part of it is uh, the Sizoski silicon on the irradiation at low temperature. So when you expose Sizoski silicon that is under irradiation at low temperature, at low radiation doses, there is, there is usually carbon in the uh, substitutional side of it that is usually found in silicon. And then oxygen is also having high, high affinity to, uh, silicon is also having high affinity to oxygen. So oxygen is, is usually found in crystal lattices. So at the beginning of irradiation, those 
those material, uh, those defects start to form interstitials within the uh, lattices of the silicon, maybe forming carbon interstitial, oxygen interstitial. And then at some stage for higher radiation doses, it combined with, with the sort of M or that defect complexes. Part of the defect complexes that are formed are uh, substitutional carbon, substitutional carbon, carbon interstitial, carbon oxygen, carbon interstitial, oxygen interstitial, and silicon interstitials. So, how do we study this, uh, this electrical properties? This is a many body theory, and there are many approaches to many body theory calculations like the quantum Monte Carlo, the tight minding modern, empirical classical potential, and density functional theory. Our approach is density functional theory. Then, why do we use density functional theory? Because we are, we are interested in the constant properties of silicon. And then, now, what density functional theory does it is it changes instead of solving the Schrodinger wave equation using the state of the functions, it's rather used the density of states of the functions. So it, com it combats the energy as a function of states to energy as a function of density of those states. Then the functions of these uh, theories as follows. For, for an electron material, in, in that material, we can calculate the Hamiltonian of this material as this, this is the electric. Uh, this is the. the I cannot understand uh, you very well anymore, uh, Abdul Gafar. It looks like your bandwidth is having a problem. Can you try not to move too My much? Is a problem. Speak slowly and don't move too much. Maybe that's going to help because the bandwidth is not great, apparently, and sometimes it's breaking a bit. The resolution is not good. But it's okay sometimes. Just speak slowly and don't move too much. I guess it may be better with the microphone. Yeah. Okay, I should go come closer to the microphone. Okay, can you hear now? It's okay. Please go ahead. So the electronic system comprises of the kinetic energy of the uh, electrons energy of the nuclei, kinetic and electro electro interaction for the potential energy, then electron ion interaction also for the and nuclei nuclei interaction, and it has T, E, K, V, Sosu, V, Sosu, I, I, and this. You know what? Could you shut down your video and let's see if you improve the bandwidth? You are, whatever you are saying is garbo, we can hear it. Could you shut down your video, please? Could you stop your video? Okay. And, and speak okay. a further away from the microphone. I guess it makes yeah. Okay. It's fine now. So, what I'm saying is the other of the Hamiltonian as from the Hamiltonian mechanics and components comprise kinetic energy and potential energy of the system. Then, this is part are the kinetics and the kinetic of the nuclei. And then this is the potential energy as a result of electron interaction. This is the potential as a result of electron interaction as a result of the nuclear interaction. That is the total Hamiltonian of the system. So our task is to solve this problem, which is a difficult thing to do. So in our approach is to solve this uh, Abu Gafa, it's uh, very hard to hear you. Um, how is your internet connection there? Uh, it doesn't look like you have good internet. It's very, very hard. I can hear you from here. But we cannot hear you. Whatever you are saying comes garbled. So don't be too oh. close to the microphone. Okay. Not too okay, can you hear me now? Yes, sir. And speak slowly if you speak slowly and uh, if you keep okay. the position away from the the microphone it might be better let's try go ahead we cannot hear you anymore or oh, i cannot mm, I are you still there um 
Abdul Gafa. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he has no. He didn't try to restart because we would not see the 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 the, the slides. Huh? It still Any... seems connected somehow. Um, yeah. But uh, no, he disconnected. Maybe now he disappeared. So yeah, <laughs> let's let's wait for him to come back. Mm -hmm. Indeed, maybe we should find ways to advise as well to have head, headphone might help as well. I wonder what he's doing. It's just taking a long time for him to reconnect. So. Yeah, I hope that he not uh, lost completely the signal. So everybody read as well the the summary. I think it it was a, a complete and very developed summary. So, do you have any kind of? Uh, question or wondering, or maybe with Munya as well, they, they are some interest. Well, uh, maybe we should wait for the speaker to come. I mean, I know, I know. What, he's... What, what can we do except uh, speaking? Yeah, yeah, but not not on the topic that he's talking about. So it's, uh... no, but for the, to engage the student in trying to see as well for question later on. Because this topic is very interesting for what can be new questions. And it's important to find ways to have questions. So think on uh, the abstract huh? and how research can be done on that, maybe on your own field. Huh? So do you have his email? Do you want to contact him, Kedavi? Um, because there is no. Yes, I'm. I'm trying to contact him, <clears throat> but uh, well, I will. Uh, I know. Yeah. He's. Uh, Yeah, sorry for that. I actually warned him about this problem, uh, told him to, to make sure that he has a good internet connection. That's very right. important. Uh, but you tried I warned him twice about this particular issue that uh, he has to make sure to, to give this talk that he needs to do whatever he can do to get a good connection. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Yeah, we have to be careful with that. I think maybe for the next one, maybe we should really do some tests. Huh? But the problem is that it may depend on how many people as well try to connect also from his side and so on. I don't know. Yeah, now he's actually completely unreachable. So I don't, I don't, I don't know. So. I tried um, it. Um, and we don't have any phone number, do you? <clears throat> the problem of connection is the very problem uh, for uh, 
some uh, students in a country, African country. Mm. Sometimes uh, we need to uh, uh, look at every seminar, but the connection is not. Uh, and are you at the university or are you by your place, Mohamed, uh, for instance? But I don't understand what. Because your, your internet, for instance, the bandwidth is good. Are you at the university? No. No, no, it's good because I am in in the office now. But if sometimes I am in the house, I cannot uh, continue to see every seminar. Yeah. So that's at least we try to record everything, and I think it's an advantage like this. Whenever you have a good connection, you can watch yes. YouTube. Huh? If yes, they yes. Have a code. sometimes. Uh, Sometimes we use the recording session. Mm -hmm. link. Address that so that the next talk uh, we won't have this problem. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, apologies to everybody for the yeah. situation. So, okay, Very Christine, cool. maybe you want to close the session. I think. Uh, always learn by that. So it's, uh, you remember what Einstein was saying in the middle of difficulty, lays opportunity. Let's end up on that. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. Hopeful thinking that next time it will be better and that it will. Some possibility for technical improvement as well in the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's an yeah. example of uh, the fact that we have to address this situation for. We, we have to find ways. It's difficult, uh, but then indeed, maybe Smart Africa connecting to them or, you know, because it, it has to be local um, um, government as well that could definitely help with that. But we will do some check as well for the, the next presentation so that it will not happen. Yeah. So yeah, so thank you everyone. And then let's uh, let's meet next week for some more as well physics uh, of material, which is a very exciting field. And that's uh, what we will hopefully get to know also in September. So with his presentation. So yeah, if there is any cancellation before we can reschedule his talk, but right now I, every all of the data booked. Providing that he's in South Africa, yeah. Okay, very good. So I stop then the um, sure. link and then we can uh, next, uh, next week. Uh, Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.